everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today we're back here for another speed build, but today we're going to go ahead and do something a little bit different because this, I mean it is a speed build, but today we're going to go ahead and rebuild the Pancakes house. So um, this is an idea that I've had for kind of just a very long time um, and I did, like I have done a few other things with the Pancakes, um, including like a Machinima series which I'll talk about later on. Um, now just in case you have seen that series by the way, this doesn't have anything to do with that. This is totally separate. Um, again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you know, I will talk about that later. Um, but anyway, so I saw actually Lil Simsy do this a while ago and I remember when that happened that I was like, oh no, well, I can't really do this idea now because I thought that people think I'm copying and stuff like that. Um, but now I'm kind of thinking again, like, you know what, I, it's... I just have my own idea of what I want to do and I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do it. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so it is, you know, still in the same lot where their normal house is on the 30 by 20 in Willow Creek. Um, and I kind of, it's pretty much all the same in terms of like what the characteristics of the household are, if that makes sense. So there is like the pink room, the blue room. And what I actually did was, is that for, a th I don't know which anniversary it was but I remember a little while ago oh I think it was the toddler update wasn't it when they added in Iggy Pancakes and um, their kind of kid so I went ahead and made a toddler room for him as well um, and also I had a little bit of space left over so I went ahead and made a spare bedroom as well so that I mean comparing that to the original house it isn't really necessary but I just had a bit of extra space so I thought I'd go ahead and make a spare bedroom instead so that's what I did so I noticed on the kind of original house that there was a lot of blue um, in terms of like blue trims and stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to include that a little bit in this house. So it has, you know, a little bit of um, remnants of the last house as well. So I went ahead and used kind of like blue siding. Uh, it's just like a two-tone effect. So on the bottom I used a darker one. And then on the second floor I went ahead and used a lighter tone as well. Just, you know, a little bit of interest I suppose. Um, and this build really took me no time at all. Um, like a little bit under an hour. I, I'm not really too sure the exact time, but I know it was under an hour. So um, in terms of the speed build length today, um, it is, you know, a little bit on the normal side, I guess, like 12 and a half minutes or so. Um, and what I actually did was, is that I think I included all the footage of the build apart from the floor plan of the top floor. Because um, I was going to go ahead and do the floor plan on screen, but I've mentioned this before, but I find it really difficult to do a floor plan when I'm recording. I don't know why, I, it's just something to do with the pressure of like the screen recorder going. I have to do it off screen. So I had to stop the recording and do that so I could actually focus on it because I found it a little bit distracting when I had the screen recorder on and I was trying to figure out how to do the floor plan and everything so most of the floor plan I did do off screen um, but it's nothing like you know that out of the box or anything it's just a little 30 by 20 suburban home so um, the other thing as well is that I kind of did the backyard area um, similar. I don't know if they actually had a pool in their original home. I don't think they did actually. So I went ahead and um, included one here as well. I went ahead and put, well, actually, the other thing as well is that at the end, oh, this was another thing I didn't record, um, I finished the whole house and I realised that Bob actually had some workout equipment in his room. Now, I don't know if he really uses that for all the pancakes that he eats and stuff, <laughs> um, but I thought I'd go ahead and kind of include a just one or two gym equipment items throughout the house. There wasn't really space in the house, so I went ahead and put a, uh, like a, a punching bag outside, as well as a yoga mat as well, um, in the backyard area, since there was a little bit of space for that, so I went ahead and did that. And then I'm doing a little bit of landscaping. Nothing really that, um, you know, like extravagant or anything, just a little bit here and there, mainly just hedges like this, because it is a 30 by 20 lot, and I didn't really have that much space to do a lot of landscaping, so I just went ahead and did that. Um, and also, for, I, I think I forgot to mention, but this is up on the gallery now, if you want to go ahead and download this for yourself, my origin ID is real Thomas TV one So, um, the other thing as well, is that you can kind of see those two random rooms next to this lot. Um, I don't know if you noticed that, but it's actually my attempts at the dollhouse challenge a few months ago. Um, that I did that next to this lot and I forgot to delete it. Um, I started building it and I was like, oh, that looks a little bit odd for the speed build video. We're going to see that in the corner, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it in. So if you're wondering what those two half room things are, um, it's just for that challenge that I did a little while ago. Um, and yes, yeah, so the other thing I was going to talk about that I mentioned at the start was this kind of machinima series that I did with the pancakes. So you may not know this, but I actually used to do a lot of machinimas on my channel um, and I haven't done any recently and I haven't really talked about why but um, what I noticed was is that uh, the machinimas take a long time to make and I put like sometimes ungodly amount of hours into them and the kind of payout of it in terms of how well it's received recently I've noted in my last couple of ones that it just wasn't as good and you know, I, I shouldn't really think like that, I know, but I've got to think as like a business, 
you know, decision as well, that I'm putting all those hours into machinimas that nobody's really interested in. And, you know, I, honestly, I prefer doing speed builds anyway, and it's what you prefer to watch on my channel out of everything I've done over the last couple of years. So I just feel like it's a win-win situation just to kind of stick with speed builds. But, you know, machinima is awesome times fun to do, and it's something, it's like, I guess it's just sometimes nice to kind of put a lot of work into something and be really proud of it. So that's why I used to do with machinima. Um, I've done a lot of different ones. I've done like a Halloween machinima a couple of years ago. I've done a, um, a little kind of follow up series to X Urban Sims X's Get Together LP. Um, I've done a, um, the, I think I've done something else. Oh, I did like a Get Famous one as well. Um, like a little kind of story about fame and stuff like that. Um, but that was kind of the point when I did that one that was like, okay, maybe this isn't for me because I, I did actually do that as an early access video for Get Famous and I put all my time into doing that and like pretty much all my early access time and nobody was really interested in it. So I felt from then I was like, okay, this is just isn't a good option for me. And um, so I feel like speed builds are just for the best. But um, I did do another mission in my series, which was a two part one about the pancakes household. It was called like the, um, we uh, literally forgot the name of it. <laughs> it was something like the after. No, it wasn't. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> but it was just like a sort of like a different interpretation of what the pancakes are and what their kind of story could be and what secrets they could be holding. So that's what that series is about. Um, now, this is another thing about the pancakes, this video, but just in case you did see that and you do know what the storyline is, I'm not going to ruin it in case you want to go ahead and check it out. Um, it, I just. This is totally separate, so it's got nothing to do with the storyline in that video, just in case you're wondering. Um, so if you do want to go ahead and check out that Machinima series, um, it's two parts, like I said. Uh, one's like the secrets of the pancakes, I think, the first part. And then there's also a follow-up second part, which is called Mortimer's Revenge as well. So I know it's about the goths there with Mortimer, but it is related. So um, if you want to go ahead and check that out, I do have a Machinima's playlist on my channel, which is probably the easiest way to find it. And yeah, so, we just, I've, my voice cracked there, but I'm not going to cut that out. <laughs> just don't really care about that now. I do that so often. Anyway, so we're just working on the interior now. Um, now, for this particular speed build, I know I've been having, like, some just mixed opinions myself of what I want to do in terms of the layout of speed builds. And you probably have no idea what I'm talking about there. But just as in a bit of context, what I normally do is in my speed builds is that I record it in just random order. So I just hit my microphone. I don't know if you heard that little squeak sound. Um, I'll just do like, like a little bit of the exterior, a little bit of the interior, just kind of go between different places in the build. Just to keep it more interesting for me as I'm building it and more interesting for you as you're watching it. But I know some people prefer it where it's just all you know, all the exterior is done, then all of the downstairs of the house is done, then like kind of all the bedrooms last. So I thought since this build is a little bit, you know, shorter, it's a little bit smaller, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do that in today's video. So, um, the other thing as well, I don't know, I think this is going up on the 17th, I'm recording this on the 16th, um, and now if you... I'm hoping that yesterday there should have been a really exciting video went out on the channel. Now it's only like 10 a.m. my time, so this video hasn't happened yet. Um, it's going out later today for me. So yesterday, the 16th, this video should have gone out. Talking about that, my builds are coming to The Sims 4 on console. It's so weird to kind of finally say that because I've kept it a secret for months now, whilst I've been kind of planning it out and kind of um, seeing things, like talking to the um, console team about this. And I'm just so excited that it's finally happening because I know I've seen a lot of comments over the last couple of months about people on my speed build saying, okay, is this build on the gallery, um, on the console gallery? Can I get this on the console, on Xbox, whatever? Um, so to finally actually say, yes, you can, it's weird. Now, not this particular build, but so what is actually happening is that I've got five builds coming to The Sims 4 on console um, from right now, actually. So it'll be available in your games now if you've got the latest update. And um, it's not like I can just, you know, sort of like this build here, I'll put up on the PC gallery. It's not like it's going to be available you know straight away in the console i have to kind of like you know send them over to the console if that makes sense so i can only do that when there's another update coming to the game so that means it's going to be i don't know when the next update's coming but i do have some more plans of things coming and um, i did kind of give a little sneak peek to a little kind of exciting build that's going to be coming in this next update and uh, not the one on the 16th the next one whenever that is and um, i've got another build coming for that at least so um i don't know if i'm going to have any more i think i probably will be so if you have again i mentioned that video but if you have any kind of ideas of any builds that you've seen on the channel that you love to see in the console then let me know in that video as well um, and yeah, so also as well, I haven't actually talked about Maxis Monthly yet. That was the other day. Um, uh, it was after, uh, well, 
what day was it? It was Friday, and on Sunday's video, I actually recorded that video before Maxis Monthly, so I couldn't actually talk about it in Sunday's video. Um, but it's all very exciting, 1,000 debug items, which is crazy to think about. Now, honestly, I don't think I'm going to use them that much, because a lot of the debug items are just for decoration. Like, you know, just for decoration, really. And um, as you know me, I do a lot of neutral builds. I don't really personalise my builds that much, which sounds really boring if this is the first video you're watching of mine. But it's I do clutter up my builds sometimes. But it's more just for the ease of playing that I do that. Because I know I'm the type of player that when I download a house from the gallery, I take out all the clutter and all the paintings. When I've got, like, the cutaway walls, I don't see the back of items and floating items and stuff. So I know people are like that as well. That's why I do my builds that way, in case you're wondering. But sometimes, like I was saying, it is fun to do clutter and things. I might experiment a little bit with these debug items the most exciting thing though about it though is that we're getting toy cars like actually sized up um well they're not actually toy cars they're from uh del sol valley and they're actually being put into the game as an item which is really exciting it doesn't mean that cars are functional now but just to have an actual like fully rendered item which doesn't have all the little pixels and it's all horribly low quality as a toy car is normally when you size it up um it's just very exciting so i'll be putting those in my builds as well um, and yeah, so we're pretty much finished with the build here. We're just working on this little study here and that's pretty much it for today's people. So I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below. Let me know about what you thought of it. If you have any more suggestions for other builds or anything else that you want to see on the channel next, that'd be really helpful to hear. Leave a like, share and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.